If you're no longer wearing a mask out of COVID safety concerns, you may want to reconsider. The CDC is advising residents in six New Jersey counties to start masking up again in both indoor and outdoor public spaces. The warning is for Atlantic, Burlington, Cape May, Monmouth and Morris counties, one of the most vulnerable populations that got hit especially hard during the first pandemic wave. Now, some are questioning whether the Murphy administration has done enough at the homes to battle infection control. Senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan reports. We need to be very diligent and we need to keep our, our residents and employees safe. Industry experts warn COVID surging in New Jersey's long-term care centers driven by the highly contagious Omicron subvariants BA4 and BA5. With caseloads climbing amongst residents and staff, state health officials on Friday discussed a renewed effort to stem the virus's spread amongst a vulnerable population. Leading age New Jersey's Jim McCracken's group advocates for senior care. This disease is, is everywhere. Uh, it's very easily transmitted. Um, and we have employees coming in and out of buildings on three different shifts a day. Um, it is it is difficult uh, to keep this um, under wraps. During COVID's initial onslaught, the virus raged through the long-term care population here. Almost a third of New Jersey's 31,000 COVID deaths involved long-term care residents and staff. The State Department of Health reports active outbreaks have risen at long-term care centers from 134 this past Easter to 351 currently. That's more than half the 655 facilities tracked in New Jersey. Outbreaks can involve staff or residents, says industry spokesman Andy Aronson, who cited BA5's soaring infection rate. As long as there's community spread of COVID, it seems like it's going to find its way into our communities. Generally, what happens is people who show symptoms uh, get treated, they get on the medications, and they do fine. Um, so that's what we're seeing in the facilities. We need to acknowledge that people are going to get sick, and that when they do, they need to be able to be treated rapidly. So we need surveillance testing, we need rapid access to antivirals, we need to make sure that when people are coming in to visit, that they are not bringing the virus in. Montclair epidemiologist Stephanie Silvera's suggestions echo mitigation methods reportedly discussed by state health officials. The department notes it continues to reach out to long-term care facilities to increase uptake for boosters and second boosters among residents and staff, and to stress the importance of using antiviral treatments to help avoid serious illness and hospitalization, especially since pharmacists can now prescribe antivirals like Pax. We are seeing cases rise while booster rates are slowing, and that is a big concern here in New Jersey. Advocates at AARP point to COVID booster rates at long-term care facilities here. While more than 90% of residents are fully vaccinated and three quarters have gotten their first booster, only a third received a second COVID booster. Among staff, almost 94% are fully vaccinated. More than 77% have the first booster. To complicate matters, many elderly folks who got their COVID boosters months ago could face waning immunity and a vaccine evasive variant. We have a variant or a sub lineage that is even more contagious. Um, and whether or not it is less dangerous for the general population, we know that that is particularly da dangerous for people who are in long-term care facilities. And that in and of itself creates a threat, uh, an added threat, not just to the staff, but to the residents. Um, and their families who come into these facilities. Moreover, Governor Murphy's executive order required long-term care staffers to get the first booster, but not the second. So administrators say they're going to push harder to get all workers and patients completely up to date on COVID shots. People have some hesitancy to get another booster, uh, but then over time, uh, you know, with education, with prodding, you know, seeing their, their co-workers and their friends getting the boosters, people decide to go ahead and get the booster. Facilities will also re-examine their testing protocols, McCracken says. There will probably be a time when we have a, a surge where more frequent testing will have to be implemented in, in long-term care communities to keep residents safe. Um, you know, whether that's daily or not to be determined, but very likely it could be uh, 
could be daily testing and, and screening for folks. And with a new COVID variant called Centaurus now landed in the U.S., this virus isn't over. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.